I'm Victoria Cooksey. If you've ever heard of Franken Cocoa, it's where you take a bunch of different chocolates and meld them together. It might be different origins, even inclusions, different things like that, and see what flavor you end up with. Well, today we're going to go Franken Cocoa to the extreme. Thanks to Patricia of My Year in Chocolate and Eating the Chocolate Alphabet. What she did in 2018 was saved a piece of every bar she ate and put it together in her version of a Solera. And we're gonna taste that today. Now this particular one that she sent me a sample of has over 245 different pieces of bars potentially in it, 43 different origins and covering 136 different brands. So that's all the info right there. That's a lot of makers that could be in here. Now she put all of hers in a big jar and condensed it down for each person she sent it to. So I'm not sure which ones are actually in here, but we're gonna smell it and we're gonna taste it and find out. Now it's time to take the lid off and smell. If this was just your regular drinking chocolate from one origin, I would also be tasting it at this time in sort of the dry form. But in this case, there's just so many potential different pieces in here that that's not really gonna, I think, give me enough info. But let's go ahead and smell it. I have no idea if this is gonna smell like, it's like anything at this point. Let's see. So I'm getting chocolate covered raisin right off the bat and vanilla. And also I'm gonna be smelling what's on top, not necessarily what's down here. I'd say some pale stone fruit, maybe like chocolate ice cream, chocolate cookie. And if you've ever had like the uh, Soma old school milk bar, I'm kind of getting a scent like that off of this as well. Maybe a little oak. And I almost, maybe some citrus too. Okay. So now I'm going to go make this with some water and we're going to taste it. <laughs> it's, going to, it's going to be a very interesting experiment because who knows what this is going to taste like. I've gone ahead and made this with three tablespoons of water to two tablespoons of the mixture. I actually have enough to do that again so that batch might even taste different with different bars in it. And I should point out this is like bean to bar single origin craft chocolate specialty chocolate type of chocolate. So the good stuff here. Now let's smell it. Remember, when you add like liquid to something, it's always going to smell differently. So now we really get like brownie and cake batter and chocolate cookie, chocolate shortbread, kind of nutty, and there's some sweetness to it. So it smells really good. So let's go ahead and taste it. Yeah, it's very like cocoa and melted ice cream and like melted chocolate ice cream and brownie batter and I'm really surprised like this when he put together I was like is this gonna taste good is it gonna taste bad is it gonna taste weird but it actually all kind of melds together to a very dessert like drink at least the mix I got I will say there was a couple uh, cocoa nibs in here so I'm assuming maybe a bar with nibs got put in it I don't know but adds to the flavor <laughs> And even just made with water, you've got this really rich mouthfeel to it. Tiny bit tannic, not too much. Now, normally if I was doing regular drinking chocolate, I would also go try this with milk or some other type of liquid. Just keep in mind, any liquid you add other than water is really gonna add flavors of its own too. So I think in something like this, where you're mixing a bunch together, I'd stick with water at least the first round to be sure what you like and bring out those good flavors. Thanks for watching, um, and I want to say thanks to Steph of Bella Sophia Chocolates for sending me these Revel espresso cups. Thank you very much. Fun gift, perfect size for this. And thank you to Patricia of My Year Chocolate and Eating the Chocolate Alphabet for sharing this special gift with me. And very cute penguin on the packaging, by the way. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out, I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff, but I'm also I have the blog Dark Matters Chocolate Reviews, where I do chocolate reviews and interviews of lots of chocolate makers and reviewers on there. And I've done several articles for Chocolate Connor Sewer Magazine, so look some of those up too. Thanks for watching, and you'll see some links below. And go make your own Franken Cocoa, it's kind of fun. Enjoy. And King Louie says hello. Thank <laughs> you.